man, this is beautiful. I got up Monday morning because Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, was on a horse telling people about the new dynamic array function. The new, new RAND array. Not the RAND array that's been out since September, but the RAND array that's been out just for about a week. Mystic Cell on a horse, he came through Portland, Russia, China, everywhere on a horse, telling everybody about this. It's cool. You got to have a strong back to do that kind of horse riding. So let's give it up for Bill Jelly. His heroism. Thank you. Because when I saw this thing, I was excited. And let me whoop this on you right now. A lot of times we need some fake data. Maybe we want to teach somebody how to unpivot or anything. Maybe we want to just play around with Excel. So here we got some data. I'm going to bring this up closer so we can see for those folks who might uh, not have their glasses on. We just need some revenue data. We're not messing around with rand or rand between. No, no, no. Here we go. Equals rand array. We got these components. Rows, columns, min, max, integer. That's rand and rand between and more. So let's go on through this. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows of data. We need 12 columns because we've got 12 months. We want a minimum. Let's say the minimum is 16,000. Maximum 48,000. Comma. Let's say we do want whole numbers true. Close parentheses. Enter. Look at that. And it's already formatted for accounting. So this all looks like money. But what if we did want some cents and not just dollars? Let's go back. Change the enter to false. Enter. Now, this is volatile. Watch. I'm going to type an X in a cell and then hit enter. And the numbers change on us. So if this is what we want, I'm going to delete that. That's changing again. I'm going to highlight this. This is what we want. Wait for that four-way arrow. Right click. Slide and slide. Let go. Copy here as values. Now we have data that we can play with. Another example, a lot of times we want a random list of data. So let's say that I need five random colors from my list of color options equals rand array. How many rows? I want five rows, comma. How many columns? One column, comma. The minimum is one, comma. The max equals count a open parentheses I'm gonna highlight this close parentheses comma integer yes I want this to be true double click true close parentheses enter I don't need that equal sign of course okay enter five random numbers how do I get the colors can I wrap this in index? Let's see. Index. Open parentheses. What's the array I want? This list of colors. Comma. Row number. That's what the rand array is getting for us. Go to the end. Close parentheses. Enter. Wow. We've got our five random colors. Now let's check this out. Two random colors, nine. And what happens if I want more colors than I have options? Let's say I want 80 colors. It does it. I've got 80 random colors based on the number of colors in our options. So right now I'm feeling like rand and rand between are done not everybody has a dynamic arrays yet and that's a sad thing so let me tell you if you see Satya Nadella out somewhere eating a sandwich standing in line getting coffee shooting pool waiting for a bus whatever you tap him on the shoulder you ask him 
Hey, brother, what's this jive you running down, holding back on the dynamic arrays? You need to whoop it on, folks, so we can get on with the get on and get this world's data clean. Jack? You tell him just like I said it, and that might light a fire under these folks and get this dynamic arrays out to everybody. We can't wait much longer. I'll see you in the next video.